Here's your StormTrack 7 forecast. I'm StormTrack 7 meteorologist Joy Bettenhausen. We had a pretty dreary past couple of days. Lots of rain. Thankfully, we are done with that rain. Here's a look at where that low pressure system is right now. It's over Minnesota there. We've got maybe a couple of little sprinkles falling in our far northern border states. Other than that, dealing with cloud cover, and it's pretty extensive across the entire Hawkeye State. We'll have cloudy skies throughout the day today. We'll have a chance of, no of rain for again tomorrow. That'll be mainly in our afternoon evening hours. And then by Friday, partly cloudy skies to end the work week. Now, things are pretty gusty out there right now we'll see winds gusting up to 25 if not 35 miles per hour throughout our afternoon but you can see it does not last long as we head towards the evening hours those winds will slow we won't have to deal with breezy winds for tomorrow now i did mention that rain chance for thursday let's time that out we'll likely wake up in the morning with mostly cloudy skies and as that low pressure system skirts off and takes some of that cloud cover away we'll have a new system coming in bringing in even more cloud cover we really won't see any rain pushing in until about noon or so rain pushing into our far southern counties rain will continue to move up northward but it's likely going to stay in our far southeastern counties those to the north and west may miss the rain chance entirely and we'll likely see that rain continue at least throughout the evening before clearing out today's high we will be in the mid to upper 40s, low 50s with that cloudy sky. Overnight tonight, things will be cooler. We'll be in the 30s, but we cannot shake that cloud cover. City by city forecast, Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. After that rain chance on Thursday, things clear out a bit and we'll have partly cloudy skies for Friday to end the work week. Temperatures remaining in the low to mid 50s there. Another chance of rain to move in Friday night, early Saturday morning. Could see a couple storms there. Severe threat does look low at this moment. Then we'll be dry for the second half of the weekend and start the next work week out with temperatures near 60.